Hello everyone and thank you for inviting me to share with you uh, today our experiences uh, from Hydrologic, a social enterprise manufacturing water treatment filters uh, here in Cambodia. So Hydrologic began its journey almost 15 years ago. Initially it was a project of the international NGO, IDE, uh, designed to respond to the massive need for clean water in rural areas of Cambodia. As in many places, um, you know, in rural Cambodia, most people don't have access uh, to safe water for drinking. They get their water from shallow wells, ponds, open rainwater collection jars, you know, water that's contaminated with bacteria and will make them sick if, if it's not properly treated. As a result, uh, millions of people uh, still get sick each year because of drinking contaminated water. ID first introduced the ceramic filter into Cambodia, as I say, around 15 years ago, as a simple, effective and affordable solution to treat their drinking water at home. They set up a factory to make the filters and for many years uh, operated as an NGO programme before transitioning into Hydrologic, as it is now a, a for-profit social enterprise company uh, manufacturing and selling the filters uh, across across uh, Cambodia. There's a huge challenge um, for providing solutions such as water filters. Uh, for years, well-meaning uh, non-profit organisations gave them away and that really led to huge amounts of waste and ultimately did little to solve the problem in that we want all, all families um, to be able to have access um, to these types of products. And, you know, this was learnt the hard way. At the outset, Hydrologic was manufacturing and producing as, as an NGO programme, you know, primarily for sale then to other NGO programmes who would distribute for free to potential customers. And it became really clear over time that this model had many limitations. Availability of funds or um, NGO focus on narrow geographical project areas meant that the filter would only ever end up in the hands of relatively few people and without the right information or education accompanying the filter they would often go go unused uh, no follow-up maintenance uh, information supply chain for spare for spare or replacement parts meant that the fil filter um, you know, could easily become broken um, and subsequently unused um, after a you know, pretty short period of time for this to be a solution that all families can benefit from, it would need to be able to grow, uh, to be sustainable, uh, to operate as a business. Um, and as a business, Hydrologic uh, can give all customers the opportunity uh, to purchase, own and ultimately benefit from having a water filter at home. So in making this transition, it became clear that real buyers and customers have very different needs uh, and demands to you know, NGO beneficiaries and that had previously been donated the original filter. Uh, to, so to develop a new um, and successful business model, Hydrologic needed to develop uh, you know, not only a sales strategy, but they needed to change the, the product itself. So in its original form, uh, the filter was associated very much with you know, NGOs, nonprofits, giveaways, and it really wasn't something that they were willing to pay for. It was seen as something for poor people and not something that they wanted in their home. To appeal to customers en masse, Hydrologic needed a new product that met potential, um, you know, potential customers' aspirations as well, of, as well as their needs. To achieve this, we worked with uh, a number of designers to create the, the Super Tunsai, um, which you can see on the right there, um, the larger blue, more attractive design. Tunsai uh, itself in Khmer means rabbit, um, so it's, uh, it's called the super rabbit. Uh, in traditional folk stories, rabbits are a wise animal that help humans uh, uh, solve problems. And the end result is a, is a modern consumer product that's effective, affordable, but also aspirational, a product that people are you know, proud to have uh, in their homes. The next main, uh, you know, the next big question is, you know, establishing Hydrologic as a business is, you know, how do we, how do we sell it? How do we reach more people? Um, how do we reach the people that can benefit most from the water filter and enable them to actually to purchase it? Um, 
To develop the sales model, Hydrologic worked very closely with Witten and Roy Partnership, uh, a very close partner. They are a, a UK-based uh, commercial sales consultancy with the like of you know, British Telecom, um, among their, their client base, a huge um, corporates uh, here in the UK. So we worked with them to see how we could take the, the best practices that are used uh, in the private sector, be that in the UK, Europe, the US, and see how we could adapt them uh, to the, the Cambodian countryside. Through this partnership, in over several years uh, of learning and iterating the approach, uh, we have developed a sales team now working across 12 provinces in Cambodia that goes you know, village to village um, with our salespeople interacting directly with customers providing the information and education necessary to build trust uh, and invest in our in our product. What is key in this model is that we're not, you know, we're not just selling a, a water filter. Uh, we're not just selling the product. We offer customers a full service package that includes you know, delivery to customers' doorsteps, accompanying information, uh, installment payment options, product warranty, and a guarantee of, of after sales service. Uh, this level of, of sales and, and service is pretty much uh, unheard of um, and certainly was uh, at the outset at the time in, in rural Cambodia. So we're not only you know, pioneering uh, the kind of clean water, but also, um, you know, as the, the idea that, um, you know, rural customers are powerful, powerful consumers um, that have needs that, that as, a, as a business we need to, we need to strive to meet. From our perspective, the... The real success of the the direct sales channel is not just in how many we've sold. Um, we've sold over half a million uh, water filters to date, but it's really in who who have we sold to, um, and what's different uh, about Hydrologic is that through a commercially sustainable business approach, uh, we've managed to be really true to our core mission to enable those who need it in rural areas to have access to safe uh, drinking water. Um, so of these half a million filters that have been sold um, since 2015, around half of all these sales have been through the, the, this direct sales model, with the rest through a combination of traditional NGO sales, uh, retailers, other wholesalers um, and distributors. But more importantly, more than three quarters um, of our customers that we sell to are, are women. Um, you know, over 80% earn less than $5 a day. Um, and beneath the the, you know, the international uh, poverty line, we know we've chosen a very challenging um, customer base. But this is you know this is true um, to our core mission, um, as these are the people that that really uh, need it most. You know, and as a result of, of being able to reach uh, those families that need clean drink and water the most through extensive monitoring um, analysis we've really been shown um, that we've created huge positive impact on people's lives across uh, Cambodia but as I always say it's what really matters is, is what our customers say and one of the most important factors that we always hear um, and is actually it's integral to our to our sales um, sales approach is really um, you know it's it's it saves time it's easy women, and it almost is always women uh, here, have a lot of housework to do uh, without, you know, many modern uh, appliances and gadgets that, that we're so used to. And so being able to save time and effort on a, you know, daily time consuming chore, such as boiling water, has a huge impact um, on their day to day lives. Secondly, they tell us it saves them money from reduced expenses on whether it's fuel to boil water, medical expenses, travel when someone gets sick. Um, and with that money, that they, they have more uh, money spare to buy better food, invest in other things uh, for their home. So just as a um, very, very quick overview, you know, Hydrologic um, here, you know, we collect, monitor, track, analyze a um, huge range um, of, of impact metrics from, from these cost savings, time savings, improved productivity. Um, from reduction in school or work days, a whole range of things. But ultimately, you know, what does that mean? Um, and when we consider all of these metrics together, it's been calculated um, with a lot of support from independent uh, specialists that on average, um, each family that uses one of our water filters are better off by around $73 uh, a year. And 
This is in a country where the basic monthly wage is only $170 uh, per month. So this is a huge saving um, for our customers. And then we add this up uh, for all our customers using uh, the water filter. Hydrologics water filters has created almost 90 million um, in financial value for our customers since inception. Um, 90 millions of, of dollars created for those uh, rural Cambodian families, which is something we're all very proud of here. Um, so thank you for listening. Um, that's the end of my, my presentation. Um, thank you again for inviting me to, um, to speak with you um, this afternoon. And I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you very much.